few arenas around the world can boast such grand surroundings. How's this for a backdrop? The Chateau de Chanty. The Longines Global Champions Tour is now in its sixth year here, but the Chateau's association with the horse goes back a whole lot longer. The first castle was built on this site in 1528, but the Grand Chateau, which was destroyed during the French Revolution, was rebuilt in the 1870s to how it is today. The estate now is best known perhaps for its horse racing. The course hosts two of France's classics and is also one of the largest training centres in the country with over 3,000 racehorses based here. However, it's not just racehorses that are significant at Chanty. The Grand Stables houses the Living Horse Museum, which celebrates all things equestrian. Over 30 different breeds of horses are on site and regular dressage demonstrations throughout the day are given to illustrate the basis of horsemanship. Beyond this, the museum has dedicated numerous rooms to equestrian art. Well, according to legend, Louis-Henri de Bourbon believed that he was going to be reincarnated as a horse after his death. So in 1719, he instructed an architect to build him some stables suitable for his rank. At one point, the Grand Stables at Chanty could house 240 horses and the 500 hounds for the hunts organised on the estate. They are a veritable horse's palace. Chanty's reputation as France's capital of the horse makes it the perfect venue for the Longines Global Champions Tour and the French riders will be hoping to impress on home soil. Penelope Leprevot was victorious in Cannes and looking to do the double, she's one of six French riders hoping to take the coveted title in this most magnificent of arenas.